Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another Unity tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and make a match 3 style game. Uh, match 3 is where you match 3 objects that are similar and then they will clear and new ones will drop in. Um, so let's get started. First thing, let's go ahead and create a folder called resources. In this folder we're going to go ahead and create another one called prefabs. And then we're going to do one more called scripts. All right. Um, so we're going to we're going to make a board out of cubes, pretty much. Um, each cube we're going to consider this a gem, and what's inside the cube will change. Uh, it won't obviously be a cube, but for the for the boundary, everything's going to be a cube, and we'll be able to place something inside this box, like a circle or gem and so let's go ahead and uh, drag this item into our prefab folder so it's in prefabs and we're gonna call this from our scripts um, so we're gonna go ahead and create another one called board and in board what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a grid of these uh, gems um, so let's go ahead and include uh, system.collections.generic so we can use a list and it's going to be a public list of game objects for now and we're going to call these gems then we're going to need a public and call a grid width and this is going to be the width of our grid and then another public and called grid height and this is going to, be going to be the height of our grid and we also need a public game object called gem prefab and that's going to be the prefab of the gem that we just instantiate or just put into its into the folder this gem um all right so we need to go for int y equals zero y is less than grid grid height y plus plus and then for the x and this is just going to uh, iterate through uh, our grid width and our grid height so it'll make pretty much an area of whatever we define it to be uh, and then we're going to make a new game object we're going to instantiate it and right now we're just going to put some dummy data in which we're going to change in a little while dot zero that's game object alright and this will make a gem prefab it's going to take this object create a new one position it at zero 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 and leave it at a rotation of zero 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 and then we're going to add this to our list of gems. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and create an empty game object. Call it our board zero zero zero. We can go ahead and delete this gem, and we're going to drag our board.cs script to it. And then we're just going to say six and six. And so this should make. Oh, yeah, we also have to drag our gem prefab to this from here to there. And then now if we do it, we should have 36 gems. They're all in the same spot. And name visible. Okay. Yeah, they're all in the same spot. So now we need to position them properly. So on the instantiate line in the vector three, we're going to have to make a new vector 3 here and it's going to be some x, some y, and then 0 for our z and now we have a grid of gems like that um, but it's not really centered as you can see the center is like here-ish 
So I'm going to do a couple more things. I'm going to say g.transform.parent equals gameobject.transform. And so this will clean up our hierarchy pretty much. And it's just going to make them all a child of this. And so our idea is to position this somewhere like here you know depending on our width and our height so if we go to 8 by 8 you gotta put it like there it's 2.7 that's negative that's not really close all right, so game object dot transform dot position equals new. And this is just going to position our board more towards the center. Uh, zero. No. There we go. All right. So we have our board, and it's centered. And this board is made up of a bunch of uh, squares. 